Today's video is jam packed. We're gonna be visiting our new Scottsdale location. We've got a very large cash out here in store, some lightly worn shoes, so a few unboxings as well. But before this video gets started, I wanna let you guys know this weekend we will be at SneakerCon Phoenix, September 24th. We're also having like an after party uh, with whatnot here. So we'll be showing some footage over there. And let me know what you guys think about having a cash out day here at Common Hype. Basically what I mean by that is maybe we'll just announce a day in the near future on a weekend, preferably when a lot of you guys don't have work, you know, going into the podcast room and just cashing out all day. That way you guys can come in, come through, sell your pairs. Obviously, if you're not in Arizona, you won't be able to do that specifically. You guys can just go to the Discord because remember our Discord is open 24 seven that allows you guys to sell pairs to us at any given point in time. But for the people who are local or maybe want to drive out or rip cash out, it's the entire day. Do a little quick fit check. Uh, Chicago Bulls vintage sheet. This actually came out of my dad's closet. So he's had this for quite a while. I like to rock it all the time. It's a three piece shirt. We got the common high paisley shorts and then on the piggies, we've got the OG Sakai's, which I've just beaten down. If you guys have a nine and a half, lightly worn, um, I will buy another one because I would like to double up on these. Just had a big collection come through and she's offloading some pairs. You got a mix of new and used and then we got some Supreme and stuff, so. Military black, 225. Um, yeah, that works. I'm not even gonna argue with that one. Spider-Man's. Uh, how much are you looking for on these, man? I was looking 475. Are these all your size? Do you wear a nine, nine and a half? Yeah. Oh, you do? Let me have 475. Could you do 425? Can you do 440? That's fair. Yeah, I do. I love this shoe. I think it's so underrated. Um, how much are you looking for on these? Two thirty. It's a great shoe. These would be a bit lower on. I'd be at two twenty on these. That'd be my best on them. That's fine. Okay. Two twenty. We got a turtle dove. Are these brand new? Yep. Four forty. Do four twenty? Can you do four thirty? That's fine. Okay. Are these? Damn. It's one of my favorite Yeezys of all time. How much are you looking for on these? I was looking for three. I'll be honest, use stuff I don't really pay well on. On these, I'd like to be at 220 at. If you can't do that though, I totally understand. I think the lowest I can probably go is like 240. 240 on these? Okay. If I change my mind on these, I'll let you know, but I'll come back to these. Reds, worn like twice maybe? Yeah. Okay, how much are you looking for on these? 250. Um, do 230 on these? 240. Yeah. No these, I actually had a pair of these a while ago. It took forever to sell for me. How much are you asking on them? I can let them go probably for like 250. I'm a little off on these ones too. I'd be at two. You can't do like 225. Um, for these, I could probably go up to 210. Yeah. That would be my best hunting up right now. Mm -hmm. We could put these in maybe pop. Okay. Cool. Maybe. Slide, size four. Slides I'm okay on. So I'll pass on these for now. The reverse panda, I'm probably okay on as well. GS stuff just don't really do well for me in that pair. Um, Marina Blue, how much you got on these? 115. Um, would you try me an easy 110? Is that okay? Yeah, that works. Cool. Uh, size nine, reverse. How much are you looking for on these? 110. That works. Exactly. If this was like 2019, these would have banged. But unfortunately, the fly nets are just out of season right now. So I'm okay on those. I can't believe you have those though. I've never seen those in here. Supreme fly net Nikes. I think I was still in high school when they came out. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago. I've actually never seen a pair of these. Back when fly nets were really, really popular, I'm sure they did this release. I, I don't know the date on these. It looks like 2013. Just a cool shoe to see. How much you got in the stage haze? 210. Do you want me two flat? Need a 205. That's fine. Mochas. Where'd you get the mochas from? Uh, mochas, I picked them up at a shop. Not bad condition. I'd be at three flat. If you could do that. Flat. Can you do 310? Um, that's fine. Rookies. Um, how much are you looking for on the rookies? You can walk away with them for 280. If you could do 250 on these, I would take them. 260? Yeah, that's fine. How much you got on these? Those. It's kind of mixed because they're, they're not a lot floating around. <laughs> 450. Let's put this one on the side um, for now. Okay. I have a couple pairs over there. Brand new? Brand new. Does this hurt you selling this collection? A little, <laughs> a little bit. How much are you looking for on these? Those. I know these are up there now. Jordan 1 Band 2016s. These are up there right now. How much? I'd probably say 750. What's your best on them? Probably 725. We'll come back to this one too. How much you got on these? 325. I'd be at 270 for these. Seven. Can you do 290? Can you do 280? 285. That's fine. These are the shadow ones. This isn't the shadow 2.2. These are actually like the nice quality. If you can run me seven flat, I would run it. That's fine. Okay. That's just seven. And then these, I I honestly just think we're going to be too far apart on those. I can't sell them for some reason. I don't know why. But if I were to take them, I'd give you 325, bro. You can get more 
I think I just, I'll, um, I'll keep those. Cool. Sounds yeah, good. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it then. So just to recap for you guys, we've got a nine and a half turtle dove that's brand new. We've got a lightly worn nine and a half bread 350. Marina blue dunks size four and a half. A lightly worn pair of mochas wearing a pair of the rookie of the year Jordan ones. OG shadows 2018 pair. We got the 2016 band, which are just. It's crazy how much he's gone up in price. Stage Haze, Jordan 1 Highs, I really, really like this shoe. Reverse Pandas, size nine. Supreme Boxers, the olive pair. And a medium, a few Supreme Tees, and Doran Becker 5 down here. I love this shoe. The cause and everything behind this shoe is just awesome. We've got a military four and a size four and a half Y. And last but not least, and the Soul Supremacy replacement box. Shout out to Soul Supremacy. The Spider-Man Jordan 1 Highs in a size nine. Great little collection that we came up with. I appreciate my guy for coming through. Thank you very much, man. It's sad to see him go, but it's gotta happen. They're going to a good home, and I'm sure someone who's a size nine is gonna love this collection, so I appreciate it, man. All right, before we head to Scott's, though, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this video, GLD. Now, GLD was founded on the idea that everybody should be able to afford high-quality jewelry for a low price. GLD is made of real gold, and all of their designs are based out of Miami. They also offer a lifetime guarantee on all of your purchases. Lifetime? Yeah, lifetime. So Your whole life? Yeah, that's it. Until you drop. Yeah, and there's a lot of famous people who wear GLD. Are you talking little Baby? Justin Bieber, Wiz Khalifa, and much more. Rick Ross, my I twin. Yes. We went to different schools together. Hey, and Bryson Yamamoto's wearing it too. Yeah, that's right. Let me tell them what I'm wearing. B, I'm wearing the iced out barbed wire white gold chain, super fire. Now this is something a little louder. I think this is a super unique piece. It's nothing like I've ever seen. But Brandon, it's got something a little more simple. They got something for everyone. Yeah, I've got the rope tennis bracelet in white gold, the two millimeter. You can wash your hands using soap. It doesn't actually give you that yellow because yeah, I've, I've showered with mine worked out. Yeah. It doesn't feel good sleeping with this one in particular, yeah. a little spiky, but you can shower with it. You can sleep in it. You can wear it to the gym, do whatever. Make sure to use the link in the description down below. Should be common hype and you guys can get 33% off your first order. Let's head over to Scottsdale Mall. Thank you to GLD for sponsoring this video. Make sure to go grab you guys some jewelry. Let's get into it. All right, so right now we are at our Scottsdale Mall location. You guys have not seen what we're doing here at Scottsdale, but now this is the official store reveal as it is raw because nothing has been done to it yet. <laughs> Actually, we are right next to Just Sports. Francesca's Fast Fix over here right across the street. We got uh, Zoomies, Claire's Buckle, and a few other stores. We're on the Dior side of the mall, so yeah, it's, it, it's exciting. I'm excited to actually be here. It's about 1,500 square feet, so actually the size of our first ever store that we had in Tempe, but this requires a lot of work. It's kind of good. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a little bit of a different layout than what you guys have seen in the previous two stores, but uh, let's go in and officially check it out. All right, so you walk in. Ironically, this used to be a GNC, and then it turned into a like a custom shirt design store, and it's just, if you guys know anything about the last store, the last store we were in was an actual high health, and we're in a former GNC, so we just, we have something with supplement stores and they must really work out. Yeah, they, I do work out, thank you. Anyways, this is the current layout. So our contractor actually started taking down some shelves. It used to be, I don't know if Bryce can, can insert a picture on the screen of what it used to look like. We've demoed all the shelves. They're taking all this stuff to the dumpsters right now, but this is the current store layout as it is. A big rectangular, you know, building, big squares building, just like our original store in Tempe was. We're gonna end up taking this thing out. This is just for internet purposes. So this pole's not actually part of the building. So we were able to take that out. Bryson, do you wanna go over what's going on with the shelves over here? Yeah, so for the walls, you guys can see, I mean, you probably can't, but right here it says TV. Both sides are gonna be symmetrical, kind of how we have at the current store. We're gonna have a TV mounted in the middle, and then we're gonna have mirrors on either side. The shelves are actually gonna be built out around the TV and the mirrors. And down the line, we have glass display cases being made to kind of be put where Brandon's standing and then maybe another one back there. The ceiling's gonna be painted black. We're gonna replace them with those bright white LED fluorescent lights. Uh, the front of the store is actually gonna stay as it kind of is. Uh, we're gonna, what are those things called that we wanna put up here? Like display shelves. You know when you walk past like a Foot Lock and they have the newest releases out on the shelves. We kinda wanna do something like that uh, towards the front. Obviously we'll have a new sign out there. The issue with this store comes from the actual space with storage. And this is the tricky part because there's not a lot of storage in here. This back wall, we're probably gonna have more shoes. Maybe another, I don't know if it's gonna be another TV. We haven't really decided what we're gonna do with this back wall yet. Or this wall right here. Um, potentially have to put a curtain all the way across so we can actually store more sneakers. But the ultimate issue we have is we have way too many sneakers and not enough room. Because if you look in the back here, it's kind of a mess, which will get all cleared out as we continue to bring stuff over to the dumpster. But it's kind of a weird layout and there's not a lot of storage space, which is going to be very tricky because we, again, we have a lot of shoes. So how can we sell the most amount of shoes utilizing the space that we have 
um, with the current conditions and that's ultimately the trickiest question. Also, we are on time restrictions right now because the mall wants us to be open. We want to be open for holiday season. I don't want to rush the grand opening process, but at the same time too, we do got to get open before the holiday season gets started and Scott so Mall is requiring us to actually get open. Another thing that stinks is a bunch of the ideas that we originally had for the store, unfortunately it required permits from the city, which means you can't just build a wall and let the wall you know go up you can't build electrical outlets and put them actually in the store because you need permits for all of those things so some of the stuff that we want to do we maybe can't do until next year it takes forever to actually pull permits from the city um, like up to three four five months if it gets racked up so unfortunately we can't really do anything about that we have to take the store as it is you know kind of create it to, to what we want it to be and hopefully everybody enjoys it. So it's gonna be Scott Sill. Obviously it's gonna look a lot different. The before and after pictures are, I think are gonna be really crazy. I think we envisioned something that's gonna be really cool, something that Scott Sill Mall hasn't really seen quite yet, or really the state of Arizona hasn't seen. So hopefully we can you know be different in this mall and, and sell a lot of shoes. That's our ultimate goal. But uh, that's your little tour of our Scotts location probably coming last week of September, maybe the first week of October. It just, again, depends on how quickly we can get this stuff done. Uh, today is Monday at the shop. You guys will see some unboxings a little bit later. We already did these. USPS just came, so we got to open these as well. Jace, I'm going to fit check real quick. Nothing crazy. Neutral grays, some CH brown paisley, a little vintage hit, kill the hype, rally the valley. Pandas, some Nike cargos, Jordan T, cactus khaki hat. Ben? I'm wearing my Dodger Dunks. Thank you to Johnson for gifting me these. We made a deal before the grand opening. It was a successful deal, I might say. So, Paisley shorts and just an old vintage tee. As well, rocking the pandas, common type socks, light mocha shorts, strawberry tee, keeping it light. Let's so go check on Brian Drew. Drew doesn't have, he doesn't have actual shoes on. He's wearing flip flops. Oh, again. he's got dogs out? Yeah, they got the. Hey guys, we're doing, we're just doing fit checks and uh. Woo, 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 woo. Good. Right. He's, he's, he's got the dogs out. It's Monday morning, the dogs are out. Got the networking tee on today and then the uh, blue hay shorts. Nice. Brian? Oh, you see what's on Pete today? Brian. You know about it? Ew. Bro, 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 bro. I'm shorts. Dennis Robin, F and T. Hey, why don't you give him a little update on the podcast? Ooh. Uh, it's 110 degrees in that room. One There's no start. AC currently in the podcast room? The yes. outlets probably don't work either. We haven't tested them. Everything's still under construction here. I don't want to keep mentioning the podcast, but I also do because a few of you guys have been asking about the podcast. And again, it's just something that we want really good guests on. And if we don't want it to just be sneaker related, we'll have some sneaker stuff maybe on it and talk about with other sneaker store owners about their business and, and their success. But really we want to get into the influencers, the athletes, celebrities, and things of that nature. And then really maybe possibly even like really successful business owners. And we got a text code. Nice. Do you want me to promo right now? Sure. They just email us. When are we going to do that? We're going to do weekly giveaways, huh? After the code gets live. Brian, what do you think about that? Sounds great. So you guys know your text message club as well. It's called a VIP club. It gets you like early access to drops and basically the first deals that we have, vintage stuff, uh, merch stuff. But what we want to do is we want to do weekly giveaways on the text message list. So basically what that means is, for example, Bryson's shooting Marina Blue Dunks right now. So if we wanted to grab that dunk and be like, you know what, this week we're going to give away a Marina Blue Dunk. And all you got to do is be signed up for our text message program. Basically, we can grab all the phone numbers on our list, put them in a randomized list, and then choose a random number each and every week. And each and every week we could do something crazy. We could do something small. We were talking about doing something crazy for like just like a month span. So we could go like back to back with like a Dodgers dunk, we do a Park Simpsons dunk, we could do a foam runner, and then we could end it off with like something crazy, like a reverse smoker or something. Air Forces we did, five Air Forces. We did a Yeezy Slide giveaway as well, multiple times actually. Yeah, we've done the Yeezy Slide lift. All you gotta do is be signed up. Obviously you'll get text messages from us and you have to be opted into our text message program in order to be eligible. But I think that's just a cool way to, to give it back to you. Well, just get back to you guys requires no purchase or anything like that obviously if you want to support the site and, and go and shop you can obviously do that all right guys got some more unboxings today it's monday so usually a bigger shipment day just because ups usps they don't really deliver on weekends fedex dhl uh, but we got some neutral gray lows right here this time a size 10 and a half again Ooh, gotta get that out it's like someone may have stepped on it or something anyways this is just a great all-around everyday shoe uh we sell these really really well so it's always good to find fresh pairs of these we got a black and white dunk low size 10 and a half um, so that's all for the spots next up we got a big home depot box right here and it's going to be all air force ones we're doing some market research and just being in the mall means we're probably going to sell a lot more of these so i want to stock up on these i'm not sure if i mentioned this in the last video but i have a few friends who own mall storefronts and they do a lot of air force numbers and specifically with like when rappers come through um, they'll just buy all of them 
I'm not sure if you guys heard in the last video, but a little baby came through my boy's store. Um, his store is called Request Boutique. I think it was in Charlotte or his Virginia store. Anyways, uh, I think he bought like 50 pairs every single size they had in Air Force Ones. He bought all 50 of them, and then he didn't keep any of the boxes. Just They took them out, put them in a big trash bag, walked out with like two fat ass trash bags. Next up, we got a pair of Jordan 3s. I'm actually kind of shocked this pair is as low as it is right now. It's barely going for retail, maybe a little bit over retail in the bigger sizes, but the Fire Red 3s, a bunch of people are asking me for an investment call on these and if I think this is the right time. I think this is definitely an investment play for sure. I just think right now, not quite the right time for them as they just released. I think we need to give it a couple months before we start actually looking into it, maybe before holiday seasons, but the big sizes seem to be doing really well on them right now. Size 12 in the Fire Red. Next up, we've got a Jordan 11 right here. This is gonna be the cool gray. Again, one of my favorite shoes. Such an easy shoe to sell for us, especially in those larger sizes. Again, those smaller sizes, like eight through nine and a half in the cool grays, for whatever reason, they're just not going for much over retail, which I think is a little bit weird, but I think there's a story behind that that maybe one day will get revealed. We've got uh, Jackpot, great school dunks. This is a great, great, great school shoe, and it's a it's at a relatively cheap price right now. I think it's in the 140 to 150 range. Next up, we've got a Jordan 6 UNC. This is a size 12 and a half. It's a shoe I don't really buy a ton of just because we don't really move Jordan 6s that well at our specific location with our demographic. But uh, um, regardless, it's just a good shoe to have. Hassan usually likes buying that shoe. So if Hassan comes through again, I'll probably sell that to him. We got a few more big boxes over here. This one is going to be a Chrome Hearts package. Let me know in the comments if you guys like wearing Chrome Hearts gallery. We've been getting a, a lot more of it and it's selling really well for us. Specifically when we go to Scottsdale, all the, the athletes, again, all the rappers go there, they'll, they'll attend that store. So it's good to have these in stock. There's only one store at Scottsdale that has a bunch of selection like this, and this is uh, 151 over there. So this is actually directly from one of the Chrome Hearts stores out there. This is a size large, so you got the, it's like the cemetery tee, I believe. So you got the cemetery tee in a size large. I forgot what this is called, but I know this is a Honolulu exclusive t-shirt. So in the white colorway, Again, just your basic white and black t-shirt. You got the same t-shirt, same design in the black colorway. Uh, and last but not least, we got a Maddie Boys. Chrome Hearts hoodie right here. Why is it Maddie Boy? It's got the Maddie yeah, Boy. Tough. Yeah, so kind of a cool piece. Again, these are just really, really expensive t-shirts and hoodies. For me personally, it's something that I don't wear. I actually have one Chrome hoodie, but that's just because some guy brought it in. I was supposed to go dry clean it to go sell it in store and I just, I never did, so it's been in my closet. Uh, two more big boxes, let's see what we got here. I think we might have some more Air Forces, yeah. So again, more Air Force Ones, all sizes in these. We'll make sure we have these for Scottsdale. And last but not least, we've got, wow, a fat pack of Cool Grays. So, more Cool Gray 11s. These are all gonna be, there's one grade school size, and then the rest of them are sizes 10 and a half through 14. Um, so again, great movers for us here at the shop. One of the best Jordan 11s that ever released, in my opinion, but specifically one of my favorite pairs to release in 2021. We did a huge 10% off sale and we've done a crap ton um, of online sales this past weekend. So if you guys were part of that and you guys purchased something, we really appreciate the support. We also did a bunch of in-store stuff as well for our two year anniversary. So time flies, we're pushing three years now. Hopefully year three, we can give you guys more incredible content. We haven't been really going to a lot of events and stuff as of recently, but we will we will be at Got Soul uh, October 8th in Boston. And we will be at SneakerCon Phoenix this weekend, September 24th. We'll be making appearance there. Whatnot's coming through. We're doing a little after party here with Whatnot. And yeah, I think those are for the most part the two events that we have planned for the near future. Also trying to make it out to SneakerCon on Dallas. Seeker exit hit us up. They want to do a couple more things. And then Gotzel just announced Houston. We're going to try and be at Houston as well. So a bunch of different things. I know you guys have been really, really itching for the cash out stuff, uh, which we are going to give to you guys, but we've just been, again, so focused on HU, making sure this is working, making sure Scottsdale opens, and then we're going to get back to the grind again. So if you guys have stuck around for this long, appreciate it. Um, again, soon we'll be back to the cashing out.